For this project, I'll be using watercolor paper. I have a couple of watercolor paint brushes and then a set of watercolor paints and of course a cup of water. I'm also going to be using some table salt that I poured into this cup. I'm going to begin by getting a nice watery brown. This is a burnt sienna that I'm using and I want to keep it really light just to kind of figure out kind of where I want my rabbit to go. I'm going a tad bit higher than the middle of the paper, making a little mark, and then kind of dividing the paper in half, and then adding some marks kind of where the ears are going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and just lightly sketch in the ears with my light, watery, burnt sienna color. And I'm not even going to make them connect to the head because I'm leaving room for the flowers. I'm going to add in just a little V for the nose in between my two marks. I'm trying to keep it really light. And I'm going to add these little curves around the nose. This is going to be the, the cheeks of the rabbit. I'll extend that up a little bit higher can see the kind of the face shape. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more brown, keeping it really light. I'm going to go ahead and add another line that kind of mimics that one, except it goes a little bit wider, like so. And then I'm going to add the lines for the body of the rabbit, the shoulders. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom part of the rabbit by filling it in with more of this burnt sienna color. You can see I'm adding more paint now so it's a lot brighter than what my first lines initially were. I'm just filling it in with my water and my burnt sienna, keeping it nice and wet. I'm even going to add a little bit of my burnt umber color, so a little bit darker brown. And really your bunny can be any color. If you'd rather do gray, you could do gray. I'm adding a little bit of blue, which uh, it's ultramarine blue, to kind of give my rabbit a little bit more of a gray effect. And while all of this is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my salt just pinch it with my fingers and sprinkle it on the top, on the wet paint. This will give the, the fur texture and make it look kind of fluffy later. I'm going to let that sit and not touch it for now and move on to a different part of my painting. So I'm getting kind of a rosy red color and I have my brush pretty watery and I just want to make some circles where I'm going to have my three main flowers. So one in the middle, one on the right, and one on the left. And I'm keeping these nice and watery so that it's very light. I just want to kind of drop in where they are going. While that sits, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of yellow around the outside, just kind of dotting the paint in little sections near the flowers. This kind of adds um, maybe their little yellow flowers or little um, pieces of nature, I don't know, something just to add some, some color around the, the flowers. Maybe they're teeny tiny little flowers or leaves or greenery or something. So next I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to make kind of a football shape for the eyes. So it's pointed on the top and the bottom and then kind of rounded in the inside. And you can see I'm trying to make them where we did that first part of the face. So there's still some part of the face on the outside. And I'm just trying to get light um, shapes in there that doesn't have to be dark yet. We will darken it later. I'm also going to draw in where the nose is and where the mouth is. Those are kind of V shapes, the nose being a regular V, the mouth an upside down V. I let all that dry. Now I'm gonna come in and start adding some color 
into the face of the rabbit. So I'm using that um, burnt sienna and I'm going to drop in some of that color. I'm not going to go right up by the eyes, just pretty close. Same thing by the flowers. I'm not going all the way up, just kind of close. I'm starting up on the nose and then I'm doing just the inside part of the face first. I'm trying to keep the area right under the nose a little bit lighter. So I'm going in and darkening up kind of this area on the outside and above the nose, but I want to keep the area under the nose pretty light. So I'm just going to use clean water and fill that in. And some of the brown then will, will go into that area, but it'll stay lighter that way. I'm going to drop in a little bit more of a darker brown up here above the nose on the front part of the face. I'm just kind of dabbing. Notice I'm not doing too many brush strokes. And then I'm going to go ahead and darken the outside edges here around the mouth. And now I'm going to add a little bit of salt right on the face and let that dry. Now the ears are away from that area so I'm going to go ahead and work on those now too and I'm really going to do the same thing so I just want to fill my ears with some darker color and what's on there I'm going to use some of the burnt sienna I may add a little bit of the burnt umber and some of the blue just to get kind of the variety in colors and then notice I left a space open um, I'm going to add some pink there later for the inside of the ears so I'm just dropping in some color here and then while it's wet I'll sprinkle some salt now if I'm ever moving too fast for you please don't hesitate to pause the video so that you can catch up I definitely uh, love the fact that when you watch a video on how to paint something it's so easy to pause or go back in case you miss something so please don't hesitate to do that I'm going to go ahead and fill my other ear the same way. I'm adding some burnt sienna. I'm leaving a little space for the pink of the ear. I'm adding a tiny bit of ultramarine blue just to kind of gray down my browns a little bit. And then I'm sprinkling some salt while it's still wet just to give it some texture. You can see on the bottom part of the rabbit the effect that the salt has. It's kind of a cool look. Gives it some of that furry, fluffy texture. I'm going to let my ears dry. I'm switching to a little bit of a thinner brush and I want to go back over my flowers now. So to make um, a rose look, I'm going to start with just a little like comma shape and then do the same thing going the other way and then just continue starting from the center um, going around and around by adding these kind of curved lines of paint. So you can see I'm just adding a little section and then moving on to another area, adding a little curve, moving on to the other area, and it really makes it look like the flower has now popped out of that circle. So I'm gonna do the same thing on both of the other flowers. So I start with just like a little comma shape and another one, and then continue curving around, leaving a little bit of space between my curves just to give it some depth and variety of color looking good. I'll do the same thing on my third one. So a little comma, another little comma, continued little curve brush strokes to get those all around to form the adorable little rose-like flowers.
I'm adding these brown areas around the outside of the face as you can see I can fill those in now since the other part of my face is dry I do want this part to be a little bit darker so that it makes the center part of my face stand out some more so I'm adding just a little bit more paint and less water if you ever want your watercolor to show up thicker you can add a little bit more paint and a little bit less water and that will make it darker or brighter. You can also continue by adding extra coats of paint and that will help your watercolors stand out more. I'm adding just a pinch of salt to that area too just to get that texture going in those sections as well so that it all uh, goes together on my little bunny here. I wanted to darken up right under the mouth a little bit more, so I'm adding some blue and brown mixed to that area. Next, I'm gonna go into my ears with some pink, so I'm just keeping it real light. And adding some watery pink to the inside of the ears. I don't want it to take away from my flowers, so I wanna keep it just subtle. And then I'm also gonna add some leaves around my flowers. I don't have anything green there yet, so I'm just gonna draw some leaves to kind of fill around my flowers making some leaf shapes in a couple different directions a couple different shapes with a nice soft green I'm also adding little green dots just to kind of indicate some extra like filler stuff around my main flowers. I'm going in with my yellow now and brightening up a couple of my yellow filler as well just to make it a little bit brighter. You really could add any colors in this area. You could even add little berries. So it's kind of a fun thing with the flowers. You can get creative. You could add sunflowers or whatever flowers are your favorite. I'm going back over some of the roses to make sure that they're a little bit brighter. This time I'm not quite hitting every single area, but I do just wanna kind of get some darker reds in there just to kind of make them pop a little bit more. Next I'm going in with some really dark blue and some really dark brown. Mix them together. It's one of my favorite ways to make kind of a charcoal gray. And I really wanna darken up the eyes. So I am going over my eyes again. And I'm starting with the outside edge of the eyes. And then I want to make sure to leave a little highlight in my eyes too. So I'm gonna leave a little circle of light along the top part of the eye. So if you wanna highlight in you should maybe leave just a little bit of light um, along the top part or in the middle somewhere. Usually I like to leave a little circle of highlight in the eyes. If you accidentally cover it up, you can always go back in with like a white acrylic paint and add that dot in there as well. I'm also going to darken my nose line while I have this on my brush. All right, we're getting closer. I'm gonna go back over some of my areas and just kind of give them a little bit more detail, a little more definition. So I'm starting back on the body. I haven't touched the body in a while. You can brush all the salt off of your picture. I didn't even do that. I just am kind of going right over it, but eventually you may want to just kind of dust the salt off because it should be dry. 
And now I'm going to kind of darken some of the areas, like especially along the edges, and then right under the head. If I darken that a little bit, it makes the head come forward and the body go back a little bit. So that kind of works out really nicely. So I'm just kind of adding some brush strokes in there with a little bit of my blue-brown mixture. And I don't have to do the entire body, but kind of along the edges, I wanted to try to darken. I also want to do the same thing around the outside of the face. So I just wanted to add kind of these lines that go away from the mouth to darken that area. And then I'm gonna do that kind of on the inside of the face as well, but lighter. I do want my inside of my face to be lighter than my outside of the face. I'm also going to add a little bit more paint right above the nose. I'm gonna draw a line down from the nose to the mouth. And then I wanted to add a little bit of darkness like right under where the eyes are, just to define that area. I also want to add a little bit of darkness in between the eyes, kind of in an upside down V shape, and kind of work that up in between the eyes. I'm going to do the same thing on the ears. I just want to darken this area a little bit and along the edges just to kind of define those shapes some. I am liking how this is coming together. All right, time for some detail work. So I'm switching to a very small brush. I believe it's like a size one round brush and I'm adding in some details. The first thing I'm doing is drawing some veins on my leaves. This is optional, but I always think it adds a nice little touch of detail. So I usually start with the center line of the leaf and then I add the lines going away from the center towards the edges of the leaves. Center line, lines away to make those nice veins on the leaves. You can also add a couple of those extra little green filling dots here and there just to make it look like it's a nice full flower crown. While I've got my thin brush out, I need to add some whiskers. So I'm using just the tip and my brown and adding some whiskers from the center of my face towards the outside of my face. You can see I'm just pulling them away from the center. I'm adding four or five on each side. I'm not going too crazy with my whiskers. I wanna get a lot darker now. So I'm switching with my, my black and my or my, my blue and my brown to make almost as dark as black color. I'm adding in some eyelashes on just the tops of the eyes. They kind of go out towards the outside edge. And then if you need a little bit more definition on the eyes, I need to clean up some of my edges on, on my eyes. I'm just gonna go around the edges with this again. And I think my whiskers and my nose could probably be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go over those again as well. Darken my nose, darken right where my mouth opens, and then I'm gonna go over the whiskers again because they just aren't quite dark enough. And they are much better. Now you can see them a little bit more. So I'm just trying to use the tip of my brush, get some nice fine lines. And now I have whiskers. You could always do those with uh, like a colored pencil or something too if your brush can't get quite tiny enough. And there you have it, the adorable spring bunny. Thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe below and I hope to see you again soon.